I spent a lot of time recently updating my metabolism content, making some new charts, as well as some graphics and updating some past posts that I have made. And so I thought that I would show you guys that here, as well as some other resources that I have, things like spreadsheets to keep track of your various notes on different pathways, my metabolism playlist. Um, I'll also show you some playlists from other people that I like, as well as various um, resources, including open access reviews and um, downloadable charts and animations and things like that. So speaking of downloadable charts, I recently made some metabolism, um, like overview metabolic charts, and I have uploaded them to Google Docs. So if you click on one of these um, charts, well, if you just click on it, it'll make it bigger for you so that you can see and apologize. I apologize, my computer is being slow. Um, I have much too much going on on my computer right now. Um, but so you can see a bigger version or if you click on of the caption, there's a link that'll take you to so that you can download a PDF of it. Feel free to use these. I hope that they help you. But if you do, please cite the Bumbling Biochemist. I really appreciate it. Um, so I also have these different sections where I have selected posts. For example, you can go and learn more about glycolysis step by step. Um, and then with the associated graphics, and then there's more of the associated graphics um, just on the metabolism page. I also have um, here this like spreadsheet that I've linked to at the top. I have a video um, that I can link to with inf more information about this. But this is how I recommend studying met metabolism and kind of keeping track of things as you go. And this is one of the assignments that my students will have to do is to keep this spreadsheet updated throughout the semester. It really helps you see how interconnected various pathways are if you focus on the kind of different reactions and how they overlap. So what's a common intermediate? What different reactions is it involved with in different pathways? As well as for more specific pathways, what is the nitty gritty details? What are the enzymes involved? How are they regulated? Where is it occurring? All of these various things. Um, as well as like cofactors, what cofactors, where do cofactors come from? What kind of enzymes use them? What type of reactions do they do? And so really thinking about this for, for things like carbohydrate metabolism, amino acid metabolism, nucleic acid metabolism, and lipid metabolism. And then again, kind of just big picture, when do you wanna do what? Um, how are these interconnected? So then I also have um, a metabolism playlist in YouTube where I have a lot of different different posts about all sorts of metabolic concepts. And so there's a link to that as well. I also wanted to show you a couple of playlists that I really like other people's playlists. So MIT has some good open courseware, including this like MIT 705 general biochemistry. This one from Matthew Vander Heiden is really great. It goes into really um detail about the different metabolic chemistry reactions, the chemistry behind the reactions and doing arrow pushing and all that fun stuff. Um, so this is definitely a more kind of in-depth look at the reactions and I recommend it if you want to learn more about the reactions. Some really great um, kind of bigger picture metabolism, really regulation and things like this, as well as some solved problem sets and information about various cofactors is this MIT 5.07 SC Biological Chemistry Fall 2013. So Drs. John Isaacman, um, Joanne Stubb, and Bogdan Videlis. This is another great, another great resource. Okay, speaking of some more resources, let's look at some PDFs and charts and animations. Now, Deep Shandell has some really great reviews in Cold Spring Harbor Perspectives in Biology. These are open access, so anybody can go and read them. They have some nice figures. Here's one on glycolysis, carbohydrate metabolism, so like glycogen synthesis and breakdown, as well as the structures of various carbohydrates, lipid metabolism, as well as amino acid metabolism, so some really great content. 
if you want a kind of wider view of metabolism, here's a good review article um, by Aisha Judge and Michael Dodd, another open access thing. Um, it goes over some metabolic principles, um, cool stuff. Um, this med medical biochemistry page, this is really great information about various metabolic disorders and how, as well as just kind of biochemistry topics, various pathways, there's some nice graphics. There's also a lot, a lot, a lot of ads. So um, don't get kind of turned away from the ads, just move past them. And there's some really great content about how kind of metabolism connects to the bigger picture. It goes into different enzymes involved in different pathways. There's some really great content. The International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, the IUBMB, they have these great Nicholson metabolic maps, mini maps, and anamaps. And so if you go to this page, you can download that big like sigma meta metabolism chart. If you want that, there's also a version where it has information about various metabolic disorders associated with mutations in these different enzymes. One of the nice things about these pathways is it has the enzyme commission numbers, the EC numbers for the various enzymes involved. And so you can go and you can um, learn more about them. So those are the big maps, and they also have these mini maps, which focus on more um, narrow areas of the map, so different pathways and things like this, glycolysis, pentose phosphate pathway. They have nice graphics on like the TCA shuttle, um, shuttles into the TCA, so our malate aspartate shuttle, our glycerol 3-phosphate shuttle, various regulation, so some really nice mini maps. One of my favorite things, though, is these animaps. So they have these animations of glycolysis, the pyruvate dehydrogenase complex reaction, citric acid cycle, um, electron transport chain, ATP synthase, electrons and protons and energy transfers. So for example, if you go and you look at the ATP synthase page, well, now you can get this nice video um, showing how protons are moving through um, the pump and then ATP is going to be produced. So some really great resources and hope that they help you.